who do you think you are? You don't talk to me that way. You're like an intern. Like she actually said that. You talked about wanting to sort of have one foot out the door and that maybe that's respected by management. They see you want to do your own thing. Was that always the case for you? Well, I've gotten fired from an internship, which you got to, like, I wasn't getting paid. So like interns don't get paid. So imagine how horrible of a job I must have been doing to get fired from an internship. And th this was actually at the time kind of a traumatic experience for me. Um, I was 20 years old and I got an internship at the MTV Beach House in Seaside Heights, New Jersey. So imagine you're 20 years old. This is at like the peak of MTV, like when MTV was MTV and they had this beach house and I'm going to intern there. So I, I got an apartment with like five other interns for the summer. And I'm just thinking this is going to be the greatest summer of my life. And it was not the greatest summer of my life, but also too, I, I didn't understand how to be professional. Like there were just, I, I was just very wild, you know, for lack of a better term. So I remember playing basketball with the MTV BJs like, and like getting physical with them, like while we were playing and like, and just like the things I would say. So um, uh, there was an incident <laughs> There was an incident we were raking, I was lifting part of the stage, a band was there and like a production assistant was raking sand and she said, uh, she was complaining about raking sand and I made like a smart ass comment to her like, hey, do you wanna switch places? <laughs> and she actually said, who do you think you are? You don't talk to me that way, you're like an intern. Like she actually said that, like I thought only people talk like that in the movies, but so then she got the head of the interns to come and this woman came and said, I'm going to give you five seconds to apologize. And everybody was watching and I said, you can give me, I usually don't have cool things to say like this, but I said, you can give me 5,000 seconds to apologize and it's never happening. So publicly I got fired, like in front of everyone. It was humiliating, I had to like, give them my lanyard, walk, do like a walk of shame around the beach house. And it was terrible. I was like in college and I was like, I can't even make it at the MTV beach house. But there's a lesson in this. Every summer up to that point, I had applied for an internship with Late Night with Conan O'Brien and didn't get it. So I drove back home to Philadelphia and I just decided the next morning to call the, the internship guy again at Conan. And I said, hey, look, I had this internship at MTV, it didn't work out. Can I just come in one day a week? Because this was my last summer before senior year. This was my last chance to get to do an internship. And he was like, all right, yeah, just come in on Fridays. So I started coming in on Fridays at that summer. I would drive to New York from Philadelphia. And then, then he said, well, why don't you come in on Thursdays and Fridays? So then I started coming in Thursdays and Fridays. Then I got a call and said, why don't you intern over winter break and stay here for a month? So that was really cool. It was a good lesson that sometimes a bad thing can happen to you and it can lead to something better. And that was an awesome internship. I really thrived there and had a good time and interesting people. So it worked out in that situation.